Hi, Todd here from Urban Sound Studio, and today we're taking a look at two of the best-selling microphones in history, and that's the Shure SM58 and Shure SM57. And we're going to compare them to their Beta counterparts, which is the Beta 58A, the Beta 57A, and the Beta 56A. Now, the Beta series has a higher output, a slightly different frequency response, and in terms of the polar pattern, instead of being cardioid, it features a super cardioid polar pattern. This is great for reducing feedback on a stage, but also changes the sonics of the microphone slightly. Now the Beta 56A and the Beta 57A are essentially the same microphone, except the Beta 56A is more compact in design and features a swivel head, which allows you to get in tight on drums and guitar amplifiers, horns, and other things. Now these are all dynamic microphones, which means they'll all offer proximity effect to some extent which means as you get closer to the microphone, you'll hear a little bit of a bump in the bass response. These microphones are also known mostly as a live sound microphone, but you'll see them constantly in studios all around the world. So let's jump on in, do some accurate level matching, and see what the differences are in sonics between these five microphones. This is the sound of a Shure SM58. This is the sound of a Beta 58A. This is the sound of a Shure SM57. This is the sound of a Beta 57A. This is the sound of a Beta 56A. This is the sound of an SM58 with close proximity. This is the sound of a Beta 58A with close proximity. This is the sound of an SM57 with close proximity. This is the sound of a Beta 57A with close proximity. This is the sound of a Beta 56A with close proximity.